My name is George Hahn. I am a sometimes actor, sometimes writer, almost full-time social media user, and uh, I like to ride a bike. For me, uh, the code by which I ride and stand um, is to ride like a gentleman. I say gentleman because I am a man, and, and what that basically means is to be courteous. When you reached out, I had just come from a bike ride with a young man, the son of a friend of mine, he's going into eighth grade, and he wanted to start riding his bike to school. And so his mother asked if I would show him how to ride safely in the city. So I mapped out a route for him that was covered with most, you know, protected bicycling infrastructure. And um, <laughs> his mother called me later to thank me, and she said, thank you so much, because I asked him what his big takeaway was. He said, Mom, George basically told me, don't ride like a dick. <laughs> I thought, wow, I should have children. As I was showing this young man how to ride his bicycle to school, one of the examples that occurred to me was to not roll my bicycle into the pedestrian crosswalk as I'm waiting for a light. Let pedestrians cross because they are our first priority in terms of courtesy. And as I said it, there was a group of bicyclists who came next to us and rolled their bicycles into the crosswalk. And I said, don't be like them. It's just rude. So we just came across a group of people getting ready to take a bike ride around Central Park. So let's go ask some of them about what it means to ride like a gentleman or a lady. So the rules of the road are that we are stopping at red lights. We are being courteous and kind to pedestrians, and we're gonna all stick together. As you were presenting to this nice crowd, you mentioned like riding with courtesy and respecting pedestrians, and you kind of nailed it on the head. I thought that was so fantastic. Thank you. We can always, with our actions, act like courteous, kind people. 100%. And we're all pedestrians, so yeah. when we're respectful to pedestrians while we're on a bike, that's like being respectful to your neighbor. Exactly, exactly. She gets it. Do you There's ride a lot? I do, a fair amount. Do you ride like a gentleman? I try. <laughs> there is this notion, like we all have it, like my destination is more important than yours. So the guy in the Escalade thinks that where he needs to go is more important than where the person crossing the street on foot needs to go. Yeah. Especially when it's like cold or raining out. I'm like, you're in a car, please let me go. I'm, right. I'm, I'm braving yeah. the elements. <laughs> So courtesy and gentlemanly behavior all around. Yeah. Don't be rude. Don't ride your bicycle on the sidewalk. I know it's technically illegal, but people do it all the time. The only time I bring my bicycle onto the sidewalk is if there is no safe alternative in the street itself. And even then, I will generally get off my bicycle and walk it. And riding against traffic is, yeah, it's dangerous. Uh, it's dangerous for you. It's dangerous to people you're riding with. Um, and it's rude. It's just not gentlemanly. Um, or ladylike. Yeah, yeah, wrong way. Don't do that. Nineteen again? No. What? <laughs> you look so mature and smart Thank you. and beautiful. Thank you. Look at her. This is for a cover of something, right? When we are riding bicycles in the city, we are sharing space with a lot of people. We are sharing space with other bicyclists, with pedestrians, children, people with dogs, elderly people. So you have to ride with manners. You gotta have manners about it. I deliberately chose a style of bicycle that doesn't have a particular context. It's not a racing bike, it's not a sporting bike, it's a getting around bike. I can wear any kind of clothing with it. I've worn sneakers, I've worn a tuxedo on this thing, I've ridden it to work in a suit. So what I'm wearing when I ride my bicycle is what I wear anyway. You know, I don't, I, and also, first of all, I can't afford to have a whole separate kind of clothing for a particular activity, you know? I don't know who it was who said, beware of any activity that requires new clothes. So, yeah. I saw your viral sensation about the uh, oh, shit. <laughs> enjoying a gay ice cream cone while uh, the city is falling apart. It's, it's a hellscape. Yeah. I mean, I've had some interesting conversations with people who have not been in the city for a long time. And they 
quite literally have a, like a nervousness or trepidation about coming into the city because they, they think it's on fire and they think there's violence. People who don't live in New York think it's a hellscape. People who live here just love it, especially in the fall, foliage, going through Central Park. We don't need the tourists to come here. We can enjoy it ourselves. Oh my God, love George's videos. My friends and I are obsessed. We, we regularly walk around and we're oh like, God. we're like, they're eating ice cream. Yay, ice cream. <laughs> This protected bike lane goes all the way up Central Park West. It usually used to only go up a certain bit, but they've extended it. A protected bike lane is you've got the sidewalk, the curb, the bike lane itself, and then some kind of barrier between the bicycles and moving car traffic. Sometimes it's a row of parked cars, sometimes it's a curb, but we've got this. And this is good. It makes people feel safer about riding a bicycle. And the safer you make it look, the more people will want to participate. It was fun to talk with you about what it means to me about riding like a gentleman, basically not being a dick. Thank you for having me. Always yield a pedestrian. That's it. <laughs>